Oh my God. I mean, I, it's like I was reading some of the questions and like going through it with our amazing producer and I was like, oh my God, and then this, and then there was this, and then there was that. And like, then I came across the story that you remembered. Okay, so. Oh. One of them I think is, I know what you're we were, well, one of them was that we were on a private jet, which is always so memorable. That was, I'd never been on a private jet before and I was, I didn't know how it worked, like who's flying it. And then we got on, we were all, I just was trying to like behave because I felt like I didn't belong there. And then by the end we were like trying to like throw Cheetos into each other's mouths and like. Guess we yeah. got really comfortable really we quick. We got really comfy. Yeah, because I was like. 19 and like washed up and trying to come back. Like I was not private no. jetting it anywhere. Um, I was. But you were so, I don't know, you were so adorable and sweet and so glamorous in this way. And we'd, I remember Whoopi and I would come get you in the golf cart and yes. we'd be like, hey, and you'd be like, what'd you do this week? And I'd be like, I got a new hat. And I'd be like, what'd you do? And you went, I got a new husband. And I was like, hey, what, what are you? It's, your, it's true. Really I like, remember that so well. And Whoopi, of course, was like, what? Yeah. Like, you did what over the weekend? I was like, I got married. You know, and sometimes it's a weekend. You have to have an activity. <laughs> It was in a bar. It was an at accident. Three a.m. Happen in bars. Uh, th we We've called, all been in bars. We called like a dial a preacher. Did they have those? Yeah, back then. Um, so, okay, you are in a play right now called How I Learned to Drive. Yeah. Um, shockingly cool, full circle fact you are doing it with the incredible actor David Morris. There's history there. Yeah. We did the play 25. I can't add suddenly. Are you 25 a years ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, you did this play. Yeah, because I was 30, so I'm 57, so. Yeah. And you look so hot. You walked thanks. out, I was like, oh my God. Oh my God, thanks. What? Thank you. What fountain? What? Where'd you well, sell your soul? What fountain are I, you drinking out of? I think of? I decided a while ago that. Um, it's really tempting to kind of like mess with yourself, but I decided I wanted, I'd rather look like a young old lady than an old young lady, you know? I don't know. I've never heard it put that way. I know, I, I don't know that I have either, but. Um, and I love that. Yeah, there's something to like also being able to say like, I'm 57 years old and I've lived every single one of those years and I'm not trying to like look 52 or 49 or, you know, I have to tell what you I am. how healthy that is too. I've, it's so healthy. It really is. I can't think of a better film that I would love to pick your brain about that I think is such an extraordinary celebration of women and such a timeless classic is Fried Green Tomatoes. Because that um, is both perspectives. Yeah. That is the younger and the older. Mm -hmm. And boy, in that film, mm. does it just, I've got chills talking about it. That is a film that really celebrates wisdom, aging, life, yeah. maturity. I mean, I think growing up is not overrated. I like it. Yeah. I love it. There's something, when, I, when I, I was really worried when I turned 50 and then I turned 50 and I couldn't stop saying it. I was like, I'm 50, I'm 50, I'm 50. Um, did you have a good time making that movie? Because boy, did we have the best time watching it. Yeah, I, I, I felt really lucky to be a part of it. I hadn't made many movies and I just felt, I couldn't believe that they gave me the part and working with those other actresses, Kathy Bates and Jessica Tandy and Mary Stewart, it was just, it felt like, oh, here you go. Like there, here's this enormous gift. And it just, I just felt really lucky and it, we worked you know mary stewart works really hard and we yep. worked really hard and there were there was a strange incident that where i had to jump into a pool a uh, lake actually and they told me ahead of time there are no um water moccasins they'd scanned the area but they had not scanned for leeches wait did you get leeches <laughs> one i got leech yeah. Where? So I On said, what part of your well, body? Um, let's just say somewhere in this region. Yeah. Not good. So, and I was like wearing a slip. Mm, Netherlands. Was, mm, yeah, down below. I was wearing a slip and I had to jump into the, uh, to this little pond, which had no snakes. 
but, but leeches. But leeches. I'd rather a leech than a snake, I think. Yeah, I'm okay with snakes. But uh, Wild ones. <laughs> not water moccasins. But then they said, oh, can we get somebody? I guess there was like a whole, because it was the South and they were just kind of used to it. They, a grip came over with a big flame. Yep. Yeah, and just burned it right off. And then I did another take and I was like, Back on the horse. Back in the water. Back on the leech. Back in the water. I mean, what are the chances I get one again? Very small.